Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. Here lives a boy who dreams of becoming the village leader, the Hokage. That boy's name is Naruto Uzumaki. In his body dwelled the nine-tailed fox, the mighty-tailed beast that once attacked the village, but the strong will that he was born with allowed him to run down the path of growth. However, there was trouble brewing in the ninja world. An organization known as the Akatsuki had set out to collect the Nine-Tailed Beasts, including the Nine Tails, and declared war on the ninja world, releasing the flames of a massive conflict. Once they were ignited, the flames continued to burn on and on. But Naruto Uzumaki just kept staring straight ahead. Having forged new bonds, he kept his eyes fixed on the future and let loose a roar. That roar grew stronger and spread. And as if they were echoes, his many allies leapt into action. Naruto! All for his sake, as he keeps on fighting. This world is meaningless now. <gasps> the ghetto statue here? Don't tell me he's ready to begin. Now, time for chaos! The roars from the splitting earth herald the end. As this battle to save the ninja world enters its final stage. The ultimate death match begins. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single endless dream. I had a dad, a mom, an old man sage. Kids look up to heroes, so I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way. I'm gonna become the best Hokage there's ever been! That's my dream, you idiot! There's something that won't leave my mind. What is it? <laughs> this is still just a hypothesis. This jutsu may be the same as my Kamui. What? <laughs> if my hypothesis is right, and we're using the same jutsu, my eyes must be the same. Which means that the space-time dimension that appears must also be the same. I can use that to our advantage. Just wait. I'll take you all into an infinite dream before you know we're with you. You sleep when we feel like it. We're not done yet. Time to up the stakes! You. 
know a shadow clone? <laughs> it's your limit, Kakashi. Tail beast bomb! You're too late. <laughs> You're wasting your time. What? Impossible! Nowhere to run now, Toby! I, I get it. My attack is what erased that shadow clone. It was Kamui. Damn, Kakashi. He figured out that we're connected to the same space. This is it! Who are you? Your limit, Kakashi. Tail beast bomb! You're too late. <laughs> You're wasting your time. What? Impossible! Nowhere to run now, Toby! I, I get it. My attack is what erased that shadow clone. It was Kamui. Damn, Kakashi. He figured out that we're connected to the same space. This is it! I knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. I wanted to be wrong. I mean, back then, you, you were a hero. It was during the third great ninja war. An age when men and women, young and old, anyone who was known as ninja, flew headlong into battle. They drew blood, shed their bonds, stole things, and lost their own. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. They too were ninja. Embroiled in this terrible war, putting their lives on the line. How are you always so late? Ninja have rules. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito, remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a medkit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife. Just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? 
sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap like that would just be excess baggage. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start fighting! Now, let me run through the mission. You're all aware that the Land of Earth has launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the Land of Fire. That's why we need to stop them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. Got okay. it. They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay.
Good. No sign of any reinforcements. Kakashi's really worn out. Let's retreat for now and regroup. I'm... I'm fine. Fine my ass? That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk, coming from a ninja who was too scared to be of any help. I... I wasn't scared! I was just... you know, I... I had a tummy ache. I'll be fine next time. That's all that ever comes out of your mouth. Excuses. Enough already, you two. <sighs> You're going to have to work together from now on if you want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito. You still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in a battle with no exit, the boys just kept moving forward, running as fast as they could. <laughs> 